guys. We are all about Halloween fun in my music classes this week. And so I thought I'd share um, a couple new little songs for you um, in case you want to use them in your classes. The first is one that I made up and I tried it out last week on my classes and the kids loved it. I mean, they were like, eat, they ate it right up. They were like, do it again. We want to do it again. So you need a scarf any scarf, any color scarf will do. And I, you know, if you want to, you can kind of demonstrate how to hold the scarf. You kind of flatten it out and you kind of grab it in the middle. And that kind of creates your ghost. This one's called Little Ghost. And it goes like this. Little ghost flying in the air. Little ghost bouncing down the stairs. Round and round. Who? Hide, quick hide, ready, boo. <laughs> they loved it. So that's one you can try out um, if you'd like. The other one is about bats. Um, and you know me, I love using visuals, especially for little littles, because I find it uh, keeps them more engaged. It also helps them remember the, so the lyrics or the words. Um, this one's all about bats. So... I always like to start by um, having a conversation. I love songs that ignite that kind of conversation because I'm really all about trying to get their language going. Um, so you can ask, you know, your kiddos, what do you know about bats? Um, and they might say, they, uh, they sleep at night or they sleep during the day. And we can have, can have a conversation about nocturnal, what that means. Um, you can also um, point out that bats sleep upside down. Um, and so this is uh, just an opportunity to kind of talk to them about bats um, and get their language going. Um, so this one's called Sleeping Bats and it goes like this. Bats are sleeping, bats are sleeping upside down, upside down sleeping in the morning sun waiting for the night to come then they'll fly around then they'll fly around they love it that's another one that they'll be like do it again all right the last one I have to share with you is just simple um, with your rhythm sticks um, and it's just to kind of play along with them bones and bones and scales and bones, whatever that song is. Um, but again, it's just another kind of activity to get them really thinking about getting in tune with that rhythmic sense. So if you need to count along um, as you're playing the song or whatnot, and it just kind of makes a cool like, you know, skeleton bone kind of a sound, right? So the other one I like to do is um, the little old lady who was not afraid of anything. And then I use different percussion instruments to kind of score the story. Um, I also like Jack Hartman's um, Skeleton Freeze Dance, uh, Skeleton Man's Freeze Dance song. That's a really good one. And the Kaboomers also have a really good, um, the Monster Hunt uh, song, which is really good. So there's some, some fun activities that I love to do in my classes around this time. I hope that helps somebody and we'll see you next time. Bye friends.